Hello guys, welcome back to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today it's going to be a relatively short video. We're basically going to set up an additional drive into our Synology DS918+. Plus. Uh, this additional drive is going to provide redundancy, which is something I don't have currently. And it's a bit of a concern now that I've had my Synology DS918 Plus for approximately three weeks, maybe a little bit more. I'm beginning to rely on it. In the case that uh, there's some catastrophic failure to the drive and I can't recover it, uh, then I could potentially lose a lot of information. So I don't want that to happen. And the way to fix that is adding a second drive. Now this second drive is not going to increase the overall capacity of the volume. Instead, what it's going to do is create a duplicate of the original drive, the drive that's in there now, and copy that information over there. So if one of the drive fails, we could simply just remove the failed drive and the Synology NAS can keep doing what it's doing and serving up files and, and so forth. So that way I could take it, get a replacement drive, I would have the uh, uh, redundancy again. So that's pretty much all we're going to do in this video. There is one minor correction that I want to make and that's related to uh, the disk tray. In my very first video, I've made a minor mistake there. You can remove the tabs on each of the drive trays, and it makes it easier to just pop the drive in and line up the holes and put the cover back on. We're now going to go ahead and install this new hard drive into the Synology DS918 Plus and set up the software such that it recognizes this new drive, and we have redundancy, and then at that point, we are done. So, let's get started. So let's unbox the new drive. There we have the Iron Wolf 12 terabyte drive. This will give us the redundancy that we need. And we'll put it into the uh, slide here to go into the NAS. Um, one thing that I made a mistake on in my first video on this is there is a tab that you pull out here on the end. Pull up and this piece comes off. Same thing over here. When I first installed the 12 terabyte hard drive that's already in the server, I forgot to remove those, or actually I didn't know that they were there. Uh, so anyway, that is taken care of here. Okay, so there we go. Now the holes are lined up. It just pop in place. And we'll do the same thing over here. Just make sure the holes are lined up. There we go. Drive seems secure. All right, now we can add the second 12 terabyte hard drive to the Synology DS918 Plus. All right, so now we'll slide the drive into the bay. It's hot swappable, so I did not shut down the NAS. You can see over here, disk two has been recognized. So now we'll switch over to the uh, Synology Disk Station Manager and see what we find. Okay, so now we've got the hard drive physically installed in the Synology NAS and now we're going to set it up. So, 
what we're going to do is go to the menu and go to storage manager. Okay, so let's make sure that we see the drive. One, one unused disk, one used disk. So we go to storage pool and then we go to actions, add disk. And it's asking us to choose the disk. We'll say disk number two. Um, the data on the newly added hard disk will be erased. Do you want to continue? We'll say OK. And we're expanding the volume by adding a hard disk. Um, let's see what it says here. The storage capacity will only be expanded when two or more drives are installed. OK. Click apply. And notice up here it says Synology Hybrid RAID SHR without data protection. After we do this, we should have data protection because now we'll have a second drive. Okay, now we have with data protection of one disk fault tolerance. Now it's going to check the disk and that's probably going to run for quite a while. All right, guys, we're back now, and one thing I want to show you is the disk uh, did complete. It added the drive. Everything checked out just fine. Um, one thing I want to show you here is uh, we have our RAID type is Synology RAID SHR with data protection of one disk fault tolerance. So now everything is good to go. The drive is safe now. We have protection on the disk uh, for one disk fault tolerance, and you can see the two disks here. Both of them are 12 terabytes and everything looks fine. So the overall checking of the drives and uh, copying the data to the new drive, it took about 28 hours uh, until it was done. So it was quite a while. Um, but it did complete. Everything's good. And we now have redundancy on our drives. Uh, so we are well protected. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, that uh, if you enjoyed it, please click the like button. Uh, it allows the videos to show more often on YouTube. Uh, more people get to see the video uh, if you like them. If you dislike it, click the dislike. I understand. Um, also, if you, if you subscribe, that would be great. Uh, what that does is it lets me know that you really enjoyed the video and that you want to see more. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful day. And we'll see you soon.